everyone, my name is Dora and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my journey with the GMAT Focus and how TTP was instrumental in helping me achieve the target score that I wanted. So a little bit about me is that I am 22 years old. I graduated college in 2023 where I studied finance and marketing and I had a period of six to seven months before I started my full-time job in management consulting. So I chose to take the GMAT and study up before I started work. My first GMAT mock score was a 505 and my final score on the official GMAT was a 645. I started my GMAT preparation after three months of college graduation, and I prepped for a total amount of time spanning around six to seven months. Before I got TTP, I had no GMAT prep whatsoever, and I purchased TTP within the first week that I started studying and walked into it completely from scratch. I came across the Target Test Prep course through very detailed Reddit searches as well as Google searches on the best test prep courses. What I liked about TTP that stood out to me over all the other courses that I found was that everything was online, it was comprehensive, organized, and that I could go at my own pace and motivate myself because I knew that's how I would work best. I used TTP did the four month study plan. It's the dedicated study. TTP was really integral in my journey towards my target score, especially in their quant and verbal categories. For quant, the topics that the GMAT covers really range from basic arithmetic like PEMDAS, all the way to more advanced statistics such as combinations and permutations. For me, at this point, I hadn't taken a math or statistics course in four years, so I'd probably forgotten around 70% of the math that the GMAT actually tests for. I'd realized that only having a basic knowledge of these math concepts did not suffice because the test takers designed the test in a way to see if you have the foundation necessary for more advanced math that you'll be learning as an MBA. TTP really helped me understand these different categories of things that I had forgotten in extreme detail, which I'll talk about a little bit later on in this video. Regarding verbal, I had taken a practice section before I started TTP, but I really did not perform very well because I didn't understand the logic in the author's arguments. After reading upon the different types of questions, passing structures, and especially understanding author's assumptions in these arguments, my score for verbal and thus my overall performance shot up tremendously because I was finally able to understand the logic behind what these arguments were saying. TTP made the difference in my preparation journey in three main ways. First was the course structure. You can customize the TTP course content depending on your ideal target score range. For me, I elected to choose the highest score range possible in order to access all the content that TTP had created. Second was through constant drills and practice questions that TTP offers. They are very bountiful in nature. Um, and I will say it was very mentally difficult to get through so many practice quizzes and questions back to back on TTP. But I do believe that the reason that TTP makes you do this is to stimulate the mental fatigue that the GMAT gives you on the actual test. So walking into the test, doing three sections back to back and so many questions at a time, it wasn't as much of a mental challenge as I would expect it to be have I not done any of the practice questions and practice quizzes back to back to back. Third and finally was being able to customize practice quizzes with new and old questions that I had done before on the TTP question bank. I created a ton of practice custom quizzes with my weakest areas to make sure that I had learned from my mistakes and been able to increase my accuracy in these topics. To explain my GMAT journey in detail with TTP, I used it as my first source for GMAT prep and I created a calendar outline for myself with deadlines and when I wanted to complete 
all the different modules that TTP had offered. Studying for the GMAT was my main task for six months, so I was very lucky in the fact that it was the biggest thing that I was focusing on. I would use TTP around four to five hours per day and try to complete around three to four modules per week, which was a lot. It was definitely difficult to get through all the material in four months, but I do believe if you choose to access all the course content, be extremely diligent and efficient in the manner that you are studying, it is doable and will pay off in the long term. After four months, I had finished all of TTP's content review and I had two months before my exam date. So I started buying the GMAT official practice questions and practice tests to practice this. My first practice exam score was a 5 of 5 after I had completed TTP. I was pretty disappointed by the score because I didn't think it was an accurate reflection of the progress that I had made during these four months of learning GMAT content specifically. Um, but what I did was go on GMAT Club, I would read forums and practice a lot of questions and really drill down. And I think watching YouTube videos about how the GMAT algorithm worked and strategies of timing and accuracy really helped me improve my score up. Also, being able to drill down on my weak areas with the practice custom quizzes from TTP helped me bring up my practice test scores week over week about around 20 to 50 points test after test. My highest practice score was a 655 and my second highest practice score was a 645. And in the end at my test, I scored a 645 on the exam. If I could give some personal advice about studying for the GMAT, whether you're starting off or months into your prep already, I would highly recommend reading the forum posts on GMAT Club to see different people's real stories of how they've approached the GMAT and accomplished great things throughout different failures that they've had. Um, I would also watch YouTube videos about how the GMAT algorithm works because I think that was a game changer for me to level up my score and understand that I didn't need to skip questions in order to save time for myself because I thought I was behind. Um, because the test is super computer adaptive, you actually need to be answering questions correctly in order for the algorithm to bump you up to a higher level, which thus increases your score after receiving the result. Also, I will say that studying for the GMAT is definitely not a mentally easy task. Around a month and a half to two months before I took the test, I wasn't scoring anywhere close to where I wanted to be. And at this point, I was extremely overwhelmed and had this mentality that I thought I had reached my maximum score cap, which is common, especially if test taking and GMAT isn't coming naturally to you. But I do believe that it is in these times of getting through the hardest moments is where you're able to see your progress and hard work pay off. After my personal moment of being overwhelmed and frustrated with my performance, I was able to convert my score from a 595, which is a 72nd percentile, into a 655. Um, a 93rd percentile. To summarize everything, preparing for the GMAT is definitely challenging, but it pays off if you put in the work and stay resilient. Looking back, I will say I have no regrets about how I approached GMAT studying and TTP was an extremely huge part of this in that it gave me the foundation to be able to achieve the score that I wanted and solve questions in a way that test makers want. If you are a person who is just starting out or is looking for an extremely detailed understanding of concepts at the GMAT test, I highly recommend TTP. It is definitely worth it for all of these scenarios. Thank you again for listening to my experience with the GMAT and I wish you the best of luck for studying.